in part getting a boost from Amazon and Google last night. Both stocks po- poised to open in record territory on earnings. Want to bring in J.P. Morgan, private bank, global head of equity strategy right now, Stephen Reese. Stephen, good to see you. Good to see you. How important were the technology earnings last night? I think they were good because this is the growth or consumer part of technology. I think there was some concern about can the consumer continue to spend and keep the U.S. economy going. And what we saw last night from sort of the big consumer mega giants in technology was really encouraging, both from a top line of revenue perspective, but also on the cost discipline. So really strong numbers. Is it is it as simple to say things that are related to the consumer are doing well and things that aren't are not? Because when you look at what happened with Walmart exactly. two weeks ago, it not that simple. Yeah, I think what this earnings season is showing, all of the dispersion across sectors, uh, of course, energy down 65% in terms of the expectation, consumer discretionary, the best, up 15% in terms of the earnings growth year over year. But as you said, even within each sector, there are lots of winners and losers. Um, and so I think it's not as easy as just picking the sectors. You really have to focus on who's doing well, who's cutting costs, who's returning capital, and who's going to have the best revenue growth. Jack Otter, Barron's take on this technology move. Uh, Well, we've been saying for a while, and the experts we've been talking to have been expecting that technology and healthcare were going to be the strong, um, you know, drivers behind this market, and so far it's true. I mean, I think I I always am the pessimist. At what point, how long can this keep on being the driver? These guys have been the leaders, but do they run out of steam at some point? Um, I think yesterday showed, wow, they're not out of steam yet, but I do keep on looking ahead to when does this happen? Do they get too expensive? Well, I, I think uh, you know, valuations have actually come back as the market's been relatively range-bound this year. And as I look out into next year in terms of 2016, I still think there is a good earnings story, maybe not as high as where consensus is today, but you have to consider the impact of the strong dollar and the impact that oil's having on the energy sector today are the worst we think it's going to be when you look out over the next four quarters. And so I right. actually think uh, earnings are going to accelerate uh, here uh, in the next few quarters. But what you just said, though, is that do you think the consensus for next year is still too high, Abs- broadly? Yeah, I mean, consensus right now is sitting at around 10% um, growth year over year, and that includes... 10% um, earnings growth? Earnings yeah. growth, which I don't think will Not happen. Not going to happen. Yeah. Not going to happen. We're at 5 to 6 because we are a lot more cautious on the more cyclical parts of the, uh, the S&P 500, including energy and, and, and materials. Well, then but, the stocks get more expensive if the consensus this comes down and you have stocks moving up, that they look more and more expensive. Right and they now, already don't look cheap. The market's trading around 15.8, 15.9 times forward estimates. And so I, I think the market gets it. I don't think the market is pricing in much more than sort of 5 or 6% earnings okay. growth. So I think if we get that plus the dividend, you could look at sort of high single-digit returns in the U.S. over the next 12 months. Okay. Clearly, you want to position in sectors where the earnings growth is going to be better. And for us, it continues to be consumer discretionary, health care, and then parts of technology, not the entire sector but the growth parts, I think, are more So you would put money into stocks today? Um, I would start to phase in today. I, I think we are, uh, the market has risen 4% over the last few weeks since the earnings season started. Um, I don't think the volatility is over. Right now, we're in a period where we're hearing from companies the news is mixed, but generally better than feared. Um, I think throughout the month of November, we're back to the macro, we're back to the Fed. We could see some more volatility. So mm-hmm. important to phase in, uh, some today, some next month, some next year. Mm-hmm. But generally speaking, we're still positive on equities. On, on equities in the U.S., Japan, and Europe. Exactly, developed markets. Stephen, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Stephen Reese, JP Morgan there. Coming up, D-